North American firefighting crews who've been assisting with battling blazes in New South Wales are being farewelled in Sydney this morning. And it comes less than 24 hours after an air tanker crash that killed all three US crew members on board. A reporter, Rachel Hater, has more from Sydney. This was a formal thank you and farewell for American and Canadian crews serving alongside New South Wales RFS firefighters in this unprecedented fire season across New South Wales. We heard from the police minister, David Elliott. He quoted Shakespeare in his address, saying, parting is such sweet sorrow. He also promised that if Canada or the US needs us, that we'll be there, that we'll reciprocate the enormous favour that these crews have given. We also heard from the New South Wales RFS Commissioner, Shane Fitzsimmons. He thanked crews for their expertise, for their experience and knowledge, but most of all for the reprieve that they've offered New South Wales RFS firefighters battling blazes across the state this fire season. Uh, these firefighters, they're going to go do a bridge climb this afternoon after their debriefings, uh, something a bit light after such a horrible 35 days. And tomorrow they'll be flying home from the Australian heat straight into the US and Canadian winter. So it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system for them, Ros. To extreme conditions. So can you give us an update on the tanker crash, Rachel? Uh, we can, Ros. So this Lockheed C-130 Hercules went down in a fiery crash in the Snowy Mountains yesterday afternoon. As we know, all three American firefighters on board were killed. The New South Wales RFS Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons acknowledged the enormity of the tragedy that unfolded there in the Snowy Mountains yesterday afternoon. Here's what he had to say. Um, today, quite rightly, uh, passing a moment's silence, uh, but we will be forever indebted uh, to the enormous contribution uh, and indeed the ultimate sacrifice that's been, that's been paid as a result of these extraordinary individuals uh, doing a remarkable job, as they have done now, for years here in New South Wales uh, in our partnership with Coulsons and, and large air tankers and large aircraft that we get from the Northern Hemisphere out of, a, out of the United States and Canada. Commissioner Fitzsimmons also said that they've been in constant communication with Coulsons, the owner of the plane that went down. They've been in constant communication with Coulsons and officials from that company are already en route to Australia. They're scheduled to land here in Sydney at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Also with them are family members of the three Americans who were killed. When they land here at 10 tomorrow, they'll be heading straight to New South Wales RFS headquarters for meetings. We also heard this morning from an, one of the American firefighters. Um, his name's Chuck. He's usually serving in Alaska, so conditions here are very different. Um, but he also acknowledged um, how devastated American crews were. Obviously, we've got uh, a tight knit community within the fire world, and um, it doesn't matter if you're a, a contractor, a Canadian, a New Zealander, an Australian, it hits hard when we lose one of our own. and. Uh, so it's been a, an evening and a, a day of, of mourning amongst our folks that are still on the ground here in Australia and those that are, uh, were here and at home and, and those that are at home that weren't able to come here. They're obviously all grieving. He said that it's a very tight-knit community, the fire community, and that it, it was such a sad thing to happen the day before they're due to leave.